Hallie Salas starting for the second consecutive game. She's a local product out of the North Carolina Courage Academy. Her first start of the season, the outside back spot. Coming back from a season-ending injury last year, suffered in non-conference play against UCLA. Savvy King sends it forward for Tori Della Peruzza back in the starting lineup tonight. There's the dangerous Sentner. And Evelyn Shores, the freshman, takes a look and sends it out top. Ali Sentner, goals in three consecutive games. So, so dangerous. Widen for Moxley. Her cross. Della Peruzza, Dajane denies it. Drop back for Shores. Here's Sentnor. She's dangerous from this spot. She's going to take a look, and Dajane knocks it down. And then strikes it to what she was looking for was the back post. But she's done it on a number of occasions, and I think she's just so organized inside the box. Had a great season last year. The field and back to defend. So um, if they can provide options for their midfielders, then they'll be in good shape. Patterson trying to get the corner turns. Good ball. Colton. And the Tar Heels on the board. Number one this season for Emily Colton. Here we have a textbook goal. What a wonderful cutback from Patterson. A great turn from Emily Colton to receive the ball on the half turn and ultimately shoot it back to the back post. For the trailing runners on Carolina, you're always expecting. Here, made her way back and scored last game against NC State. Here's Cox. Flag stays down. Cox, cross, ball spinning free. Can Rabimbus get there? Della Rose denied by Dajane. All from Darlene to, to Isabel Cox, who does a wonderful job squaring it across the box. I think Tessa Della Rose is going to want this one back. It rolls right to her. Sentner now. Sentner's been magical. Off the crossbar. How about Sentner in a spot that she's also familiar with? She got every bit of that, but it was deflected and hits the crossbar. But Evelyn Shores takes a look. Dajane punches it over the bar out for a corner. A wonderful strike from Evelyn Shores with her left foot. Uh, to the back post. Dajane does a wonderful job to just push it over the bar. Sentner to take it. Blasted in, headed on, just wide. Patterson and Meza combination play. Meza. Meza looking. Walled off. King. Maybe she'll fire from distance. She does, and Dajane again deflects it over the ball. Drive across the box and lay it off. She was looking for a window to shoot, but it wasn't available. And Savvy King gets an opportunity to have a shot from distance. You know, here, half of the goal, I'd be interested to see the Tar Heels have a little bit more thought about where they're placing it. Another low corner, Della Peruzza right into the midst of Dajane. The best case scenario, an equalizer. Edwards takes it, bends it on just high. A lot of air under it to the far post. Bouncing free. Dajane does have to go low for it, but scoops up the bouncer. No one was there right on the doorstep to try and tap it home. 15 minutes or so to go. The focus becomes not so much hunting another goal. Trying to control possession. Shores inside the box. Della Peruta. Della Peruta sends it on. Dajane knocks it away again. And save. I really like this play here from Della Peruta. She just tries to bend it to the back post and forces a great save from Dajane, who does a great job anticipating it, um, being on her front foot and pushing it away for a corner. Carolina's going to escape but not without a last-ditch effort from Miami that nearly produced a wild result here in Chapel Hill. I think the word escape is, is correct.